everybody, Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine here, and I'm going to show you this system that I'm using to stream at uh, VMworld, HP at VMworld. Uh, I got asked to do that, so I brought my camera system and I got some new equipment. Uh, I've been doing some video tests on it, so you see it. But it's, this is it in action. So here's, yeah, there's a little bit of cord medusa -ness there, but uh, as, as, the, as the show goes on, I straighten that out. Uh, we had a very limited time to get this going, so basically, here's the, here's the thing. This is the big piece de resistance. Let me wipe it off here. It's the ATEM Production Studio 4K. Basically, this switches between eight different cameras, four HDMI and four SDI, um, so I could hook up another couple other cameras. I'm only doing a two-camera shoot here, but this piece right here is what switches it back and forth between the two cameras. It's a, it's hardware with a software switcher. You can also buy a hardware switcher. And I've got it running here. Of course, I got it running on my uh, on my MacBook because of the fact that I have to use this thing right here. It's the Black Magic Intensity. Pro, so I can get it over, so it can be streamed, and uh, that's that's what I've got. So that's that's how I do that. So basically, the four cameras get switched from here. They go to this box, and then go here, where a software solution being Wirecast is what I use. So I've got uh, two parts to Wirecast in my frame. Uh, the first one is just uh, we'll be right back, and the second one's the actual uh, two camera view. Now, I don't record from the box, I only stream from this box. What I do do with the recording is up here, and this is the Atomus Ninja 2. Blackmagic actually has a box coming out, but they don't have it yet. So I had to use this. This is the uh, Ninja 2, and uh, it's doing really well. You, you do HDMI in, you can actually do HDMI pass through, but I, what I'm doing is through the Blackmagic box, it's coming in from this and then going out to here, whereas the Thunderbolt goes out to the computer. So it comes in here, and as you can see, the audio is also coming in here. Audio is being controlled by my Tascam 60D. So one audio uh, feed in, and then one side goes to the laptop, and the other side coming up to the Ninja 2, and it's working perfectly. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, for streaming, we're using live stream, and uh, I guess uh, Livestream has uh, separated itself from Wirecast, but there is a way to do this, and that's through the Wirecast virtual out output. Um, so basically what I did was I set that up, and there's a small little bu bug on the Livestream producer. It, try it takes over the black magic, and it took a, a couple tries before I figured out how I can fix that. You basically have to set it up for the black magic intensity pro and then hit the live button it starts it up but then it says oh i can't capture that camera therefore it uh, it won't let you do that and then it stops and then it gives the control back to wirecast in which i then start it back up again and go from there so it's uh, broadcasting right now of course we're on break so uh so it's going from there of course the cameras the sony uh pj 790 and then my uh, my older camera. Now I was gonna do a third camera, and basically it was an HDMI cable going to the uh, going to the screen. However, what they're doing is they're splitting the screen and then splitting the screen again, which caused the Black Magic to not be able to capture the screen. And didn't realize it at first, but then after a while realized it happened. So what I did was this is just a straight screenshot of the, the monitor. And it's doing a pretty good job. Um, I'm, I'm glad it's not a projector because that would have been more problematic. So basically, that is it for this system. We're uh, wirecast for the stream. We're recording via the Ninja. Audio going through Tascam. And of course, Black Magic for the box. So this is a setup that you could do. It's, it's, it's gonna cost you if you decide to, to uh, purchase something like this, but it's well worth it for multi-camera shots. Like I said, I can hook up to eight, to eight different cameras on this if I had SDI inputs, uh, HDMI inputs. So that's ba basically it. So uh, we'll check out uh, check out VMworld, all the, the videos that we did over at HP. Um, of course, I have a link over at Geekazine. You can check that out as well. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys geek out, and we'll see you next time.